shield. You remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Putra! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenyi. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! Ah. What's this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world, without parasites like you! Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. No, I cannot die at the ends of the Taino. My father saw such potential in this islands. Gold, industry, freedom, all of it squandered. You have not a clue how to use it. He could have brought you wealth. You believe we wasted freedom of being free? You die a prisoner of your Templar moors. Let's not argue with a dead woman. Here's my prize. Anto, uh, how many years have we fought? Your men in the mountains with no weapons to speak of, and my army resplendent. And yet you live, and I die. You lack the conviction to win. Why hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. I knew we would end in fire. I always thought our positions would be reversed. I should have died happier, knowing there was one less assassin in the world. What a pity. I could never fight together on the correct side of things. Would, uh, you two like a moment alone? No. It's too late. Take it. His charm's all used up. Let the memory of him be locked away for good. <laughs> Traitor! It takes one to know one. Imagine the Queen of Pirates, Jing Lang, defeated for a fake map. I have been arrogant. Really? Yes, I stole the real one, both halves. My husband has it. Your husband? Better man than these fools.
governor's given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? A syphilis clouded your mind. Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant! You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? <sighs> if not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. <sighs> you do us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully. Just like Harlegold said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the Templars who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? Ah! You could have been a man who stood for something. But you've a killer's heart now. With nothing but metal to show for all your blunders. A damn sight better than you, Ben. The heart of a traitor who thinks himself better than his mates. Aye, and proven true. What have you done since Nassau fell? Oh, nothing but murder and mayhem. You threw in with the very kind we once hated. No. These Templars are different. I wish you could see that. But if you continue on your present course, you'll find you're the only one walking it. With the gallows. At its end. It may be. But now the world has one less snake in it. And that's enough for me. Oh, a merry life and a short one, as promised. How well I know myself. And what of you, Edward? Have you found the peace you seek? I'm not aiming so high as that. But what's peace but a confusion between two wars? Oh, oh you're a stoic then. But perhaps I was wrong about you. She might have had some use for you after all. She? Of whom do you speak? Oh, she who lies in wait. Entombed. I had hoped to find her, to see her again. To... Open the door of the temple and hear her speak my name once more. I Talk sense, man. Oh, I was born too soon. Like so many others before. Where's the device, Robert? Uh, 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 destroy this body, Edward. The Templars. If they take me... If you could speak, mate, it would gladden me to hear your side. <coughs> you humbled me once, and I took that hard lesson, and I bettered myself. Die, knowing that for all of our conflict, you helped make a soldier out of a scoundrel. Leave this life for a lasting peace, down among the dead. Captain Kenway, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. 
You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I, with everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you.